Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to download and install OpenSeas to your computer. First of all, you need to go to your browser and go to openseas.berkeley.edu. And there, the most recent version of OpenSeas will be available for download. Then you're going to type in your email. and it'll bring you to the distribution for the OpenSeas executable. So I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download this. Uh, it says it's .exe, but it's actually a zip folder. And then uh, I'm going to extract that. As you can see, I've done this before. <laughs> um, that's why it's the third folder. But for you, it might just be the first one. And in here, you'll see uh, bin and lib, these two folders. Bin contains the binary executable, uh, so the actual openseas.exe, and lib contains uh, library files. So if I double click on openseas here, it should come up. I have open seas. I can do things with it. So it's working. Um, this is version 3.2.2. Um, however, this may not be everything that you need. For example, uh, there's a tickle command. Um, this is just one of them that's missing uh, called p array. So if I type p array, it's not a command name. It's supposed to print all the parts of an array. Um, some more important commands that are missing are um, I think some of the clock stuff is missing. Like if I try to do clock format, um, it throws an error because the file's missing uh, for the specific command. Or more importantly, uh, if I try to do package require, uh, let's say math linear algebra, which is a standard tickle library. Uh, well, first of all, it doesn't work at all. Um, there's no package command within the default open C's that you download from the website. Uh, so what's actually going on here is the folders that you download from the OpenSeas website are the bare minimum to actually be able to run Tickle, which is the uh, scripting language, um, and to run the OpenSeas program. Uh, but it's missing a lot of the other functionalities of Tickle. So we're going to remedy that. So. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to activestate.com, which this is an open source language um, company that manages uh, like Python, Perl, Tickle, um, and I think a few other languages as well. Um, you can download a full um, installation of Tickle. So to do that, you have to sign in. And it's going to have you um, create an account or sign in. All right, so I'm going to sign in. And right here, I already um, have an account. So this, this uh, is already here. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to click set up a new runtime. You'll choose Tickle and then you'll choose the most recent version and you'll say create your copy. So I've already done that. So I am just gonna go right here and say install. And it just provides you an exe or a .msi file. Um, I'm just gonna use .exe here. and it'll walk you through 
the installation. Typical is fine. And I don't check this box. You can if you want, but um, the problem is this will assign uh, all tickle files with uh, tickle sh or tickle shell. Um, and that's not really what you want to do. You probably want to have it associated with your editor um, that you're editing your OpenSeas files with. So I'm going to uncheck that box um, and install. I'll just take a minute. I'm just going to wait for that to complete. All right, and it's finished. So I'll just click finish here. And just wrapping up. So now if I go to my C drive here, you'll see that I have uh, this folder called Active Tickle. And in here I have a bin folder and I also have a lib folder. Uh, that's the same structure as the um, download from the OpenSeas website. And in this bin folder here, you'll see um, like Tickle SH. If I run this, this is the default Tickle, in, uh, tickle interpreter. So I mean, I can use it just as OpenSeas except without OpenSeas. So the next step is to go to your OpenSeas installation or the download that you had. And it should be as simple as just copying the OpenSeas executable from that folder and into your Tickle installation. There you go. Now, if I type package require math, linear algebra, it actually includes it. And if I want to do, um, like use the p array function, um, I could say set a of one is 10 and set a of two is 20, p array, oh, p array a, and there we go prints out the entire array. So if you set it up this way, then you have full access to all of Tickle, as well as um, uh, it also allows you to actually use packages, uh, which really expands the capability of what you can do with OpenSeas Tickle. So one word of caution, uh, if there is a version conflict between the OpenSeas uh, executable on the OpenSeas website and the um, uh, the active tickle installation that you have, you may have to copy over the um, the init.tickle file in this folder and put it into the corresponding folder in your tickle installation. Uh, this is not recommended. Um, it's best to find the Tickle version that uh, corresponds to your OpenSeas version. Um, I think the way to do that is uh, puts Tickle version. Well, that says 8.6. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Stack Overflow came in handy. Uh, it's info patch level. So if I go back to uh, what I downloaded and I run this, I say in, uh, info patch level, it'll say 8.6.10, which is what we downloaded here. Um, if you are using a version that has a different uh, patch level, then make sure you download the appropriate Tickle installation. Um, Again, sometimes you can get a workaround if it's just a minor version of copying that init.tickle file, but it's best to um, 
it's best to use the same patch level for the OpenSea installation and the ActiveTickle installation. And that about does it. Thanks for watching.